evening. Welcome all. Thank you very much. Sorry we're late. Sorry we're late. Um, it's Brian's fault. <laughs> <laughs> he was yak, 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 yak. And then I looked at the clock and it was 10 2 So I do apologize that we're late, but it's, def it's, def it's definitely Brian's fault. So, anyway, welcome. Oh, no, wouldn't do that. So, anyway, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming over and joining us for the Friday night evening live with friends, turn with friends. Um, thank you all for coming over and joining myself and the worms. Tonight we have. Um, Brian, a heartwood okay. turning with the beer in his hand, the alcoholic. <laughs> Good evening, and, ladies and gentlemen. And Terry from TJ Channel. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming and joining myself. Good evening, everybody. So I hope... Hey, what have I told you about that shirt? Yeah. Nothing wrong with my shirt. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my shirt, look. I'm 70. Actually, I'm not. I'm 28 with 42 years' experience. There you go. <laughs> right, so... What we're doing tonight. Tonight, we're finishing off the piece we started last week. I don't know if everybody was, who's here now was in last week's live but we started off a piece uh we colored it we put embellishing wax on it and then i think i gave it two coats of lacquer last friday evening but what i've done yes, you did. but what i've done between now since then and now is i've given it another seven coats so it's now had nine coats of lacquer um i cut it back on lack on layer four i think it was just scotch brighted it back to give the final three coats. So it's actually quite smooth and shiny at the moment, but we're going to cut it back and make it even better. So let's go over to the lathe and have a look at what we've got so far. So I can put a cam light on. So this is what we've got so far. This is the piece we did. The size of it is, actually I'll take it out of the lathe and show you the back because we did the back black. So we did the back black. As you can see with the black ebonizer and lacquer from chestnut products and then we just put some gold gill cream over it to enhance the grain so then what we did is we rotated it we shaped it that's the shape you can see and then we went with carried the black on but these then we used the intrinsic the hampshire hampshire sheen intrinsic colors and we carried the black around the corner just to bring that so it looked like the bottom's folding around the edge then we went into honey, into ruby red, and then back into the black. So what the idea is now, oh, and then we obviously we lacquered it to polish it up. So the idea is now to obviously polish it back, get it all nice and smooth, because where that grain is low in it, um, you've got a few little humps and bumps. So the idea is now to cut it back, so we end up looking, and when you look over it, it looks like a piece of glass, but obviously when you look at it, you see that grain pattern in it. So you've got two different looking aspects of it. So we're going to sand it back with some 600 grit wet and dry um, to get rid of any of those little imperfections. We've got a bit of um, whatever that was there, whether it was a bit of floor in the wood or whatever. Um, we obviously got gill cream in there. So we're not going to be, or embellishing wax, sorry. So we're not going to be able to rub that deep into it because that'll go back through to the lacquer. But we're going to concentrate more on the uh, surface to get the surface smooth. So once we've sanded it back to 600 grit, we're then going to use the Yorkshire Grit Original to take up to 1,000 grit. Then we're going to go over to the Yorkshire Grit Microfine to take up to 2,000. And depending on how it looks, is depending on how much further we go. There are other products we can go further than that, but we'll see what it looks like when we get that far. So while I get ready to do that, one of these guys um, will welcome you. <laughs> Everybody says it looks like a freaky eyeball. Lewis reckon that looked like a frog eye. Oh, hang on, they reckon they can't hear you. That's what they're saying, they can't mm -hmm. hear you. 
Oh no, it's on. It should be on. You attack me. Just say yes, Terry. Some somebody uh, do something in the chat. Tell me you can hear me. Hear me and not Brian. I'll read them out and you can stay quiet. You, you, Brian, you did this. Try that. You did this try last that. week on purpose. Try that. Try that. No, I didn't. No, yeah, I did last week, but this week I didn't. I've, yeah, I, there's yeah. something I clicked on and I don't know. No I've, sound, says I've, David I've, Nichol. You should have it back now. Have you got sound now? Right, should, try this. You should try hear the words. Chat. Somebody in the chat, tell me if you can hear me. They're back. There you go. Dara said they're back. Yeah, right. Oh, good. Right. Back to the participants list then. We've already done this once, but we'll go through the participants list once more. Quickly, Andrew Lanelli from Lanelli from Posh Firewood Green. That's not probably not said right. Barry's Wood Creations, Ben Jammon, Rob from Coppola Wood Tunning, Dara Coolan, David Nickel, Douglas Mungham, Gav Sade Woodworks, Jennifer and Jennifer Craston Creations, Joe Senior, Kaidi Shedd, Neil M, Norman Grenwell. Uh, Paul Kavanagh, Roy's the boy, Shane Hurst, that's a new name to me. Good evening, Shane. Uh, Steve Hale, Terry Bartlett. Oh, I just jumped there. Where'd that go? Terry Bartlett, where'd Terry Bartlett go? Where'd he should go? Lewis the Klondike Craftsman, Toilet Glen Cove's Woodwork, Wifey Woodshed, uh, Woodworthy by Colin, Woodworn at Wood Tunnies by Barry, uh, Woodwork Ladder, and Woodworn Paul. It's all that's on the participants list. There's a whole lot more in the chat than that. Gav's the day of works. Did you count David? Yep. Gav? I did say Gav. Uh, David I didn't Nicol. say David Nicholl. Lewis the Klondike Craftsman. <laughs> David Boys Nicholl's calling. asking you a question already, Steve. Uh, he says, what kind of lacquer did you use? Spray on or wipe on? Spray on. It's an automotive lacquer I used, mate. Yeah. I, I kind of buy that Halfer stuff with no, there's no ball in the bottom of it. No, it's not a rattle can. But it works a treat. It's not a rattle can. No. The Halfers, the Halfers one, they, they sort of 500 milliliter or gram or whatever they call it. It doesn't have a rattle can. It doesn't, doesn't rattle. Mm, that's strange because I bought one you've done, I did. Well, mine doesn't. You must have bought the and, 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 No, and it's at a warm workshop and it's not like it's all stuck and sunk to the bottom. So, I don't know. You got, your, you got your ball stuck, that's what it is. Well, I mean, I've got two tens and they both they must both be stuck then. So, um, Ruby go, go rephrase that. Hello, Ruby. Three times now. <laughs> as long as it's not to your leg, you'll be all right. <laughs> Say hello to Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Good evening, Ruby. How you doing? Roger Mills is in. Good evening, Roger. Hi, Roger. EMGI Woodworks is in. Is that another new name? Yeah. Oh, welcome. EMGI. Yeah, EMGI. Welcome. Emig. Emig. Oh, EMGI. E yeah, Emig. Emig Woodworks. Welcome. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting this back slowly with some 600 grit wet and dry. Ideally, you really want your wet and dry paper to be soaking for a little bit before uh, you actually use it to soften up a little bit. But um, Do you use soap at all on it as well? See? No, so, so, no <laughs> I, I, I don't, but you can do. So uh, Wood Turnings by Barry is, uh, is agreeing with me on the, the, the bowlless rattle can. Alfred's. Does that mean he's got Alfred's. his as well? No, it doesn't. It just doesn't want it. And if you uh, if you speak to Mark, I think he'll tell you the same thing. Okay. So that could be uh, all. Roy's boy says, have batch. you tried to shackle it, Brian? Shackle, <laughs> shackle it. It's had a good shackle. Is that is that shackle it to the ground or? <laughs> shackle it a lot. That I shugled be... it. If that any good, I'd give it a shugle. A shugle. It's a good Scottish word, a shugle. <laughs> EMGI Woodworks is Leo. Hello, Leo. Good evening. Hi, Leo. Hey. Welcome along, buddy. Welcome. Let's have a look at uh, Leo's channel. Go to channel. Let's have a look. See what Leo's up to. Andy's got a question. He says, Andy Woodwork Learner says, are you sure that's not one of Terry's contact lenses, Steve? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So EMG Woodworks has got 952 subscribers currently. Boy, needs a few more then. That's uh, close, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's very in. close, yeah. It's Lovely. very close to the thousand. Put his, he's channel, got, in. He's put got his channel in eight. and let's see if we can get him closer. Okay, all right. Uh, let me just uh, copy that then. That's so close copy. to a thousand, isn't it? And let's if anybody's not there. subscribed to Leo, please. Uh, well, there you go, guys. There's, that's Leo's channel. 
Uh, he's got a lovely uh, picture there of uh, he's turning. He says, "I love the title of this one: Wood Turning, Another Buzz." <laughs> it's a bit like that one I did. Yet another bowl. <laughs> good, good man, Leo. I like that. It's <laughs> not that many people are running out of uh, anybody's running out of ideas. Yeah, everybody's running out of ideas. Oh, I'm he's already. Keep... I'm already. He's uh, got some. I'm already. He's got some lovely stuff there, guys. Oh, thank you, Roy. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look at that. So oh, when you, so, go on, sorry, sorry, Steve. So Douglas Morgan was just trying to maybe clarify a little bit there. He says Brian, a lot of them are now war based, and maybe do not need a ball. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, I think this one's not war based because you get as high as a kite when you're spraying it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> right. So when you right. when you rub them back, sand them back. If you shine a light across uh, your piece you'll see any little indentations because the indentations will be more shinier than the piece you're sanding back. So you can just see if... Is that, was that more shinier you just said that? Yeah, more shinier. Is that the same as shinier? Yeah. Or more shiny? More shinier is more than shiny, isn't it? <laughs> shine, more, shine, more shiny is a lot more shiny than shiny. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Doug Miller's in, Fred Gilliver's in. Good evening, guys. How you doing both? Right, so yeah, that's, no. that's sanded yeah. back to 600 now. That's got rid of all those little low spots. So I'm just going to... There we go. I'm just going to... Leo, 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 shut up, Steve. Shut up, okay. Steve. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Goodness sake. <laughs> I'm trying to do something important here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leo's channel just jumped up to 966 subs. Well done, guys. Well done. Fred, Fred Gillard wants mean? to know what time did you start. He started about 10 to 7. It should have been quarter to, but quarter Brian kept him back. Yeah, yeah quarter to 7, I'm supposed to start, but Brian was talking too much. He's very, very tardy. He kind of slept in this evening. I had to go and wake him up to get him on. So. <laughs> door right. 60's in. I door. All right, so that's standard to 600 grit. So that's got rid of that shine. <laughs> so we've got a little sheen on there now. Not a shine, a sheen. So now we're going to go to our Yorkshire grit. Sorry, I'm sorry. I actually missed what you sanded that with. What did you? I'm too busy talking. Ah, oh. what, what did you sand that back with? Just rewind the video and watch it. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Christina Michael has a time. They're in it. Christina Michael. Last Good day, evening, guys. Good question. So I've just sanded that with 600 grit, wet and dry. Yeah. Oh, Doug, Doug Muller's only 12 subs from 600. Brian, look, wet and dry. Look. Oh, wet. All right. Okay. I don't use wet and dry. You should. Don't let get my. That's don't like get my fingers it. wet. Should you get a bit of sand with it? Right. Yes, dear. I'll try it next time. Yes, dear. Right. So Yorkshire Sa grit. Sound the same like Michelle. Yorkshire grit microphone. No, Michelle. No, that's not. That's original. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. What's going on here? What's going on? Try here? the white one. Right, try right, the white right, one. Right, right. Can we press the reset button here? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yorkshire grit original. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> We're fine now. We're good now. Right, so Yorkshire Grit Original. <clears throat> now this should take us up to about a thousand grit. Um, Fred Goldiver's and he says, see as I'm late. What did you say that, did you? I mentioned it about ten minutes ago, but you're asleep as usual. Oh, as usual. Okay. So um just popped another link in there, which is Doug's channel. He's twelve short of six hundred. And Colin from Wood Wizardry is 31 away from 300. Oh. Yeah, and I'll just pop his link in there. Why not? Ben Jamin is saying, Steve, are you aware that Brian's logo is covering yours? Not a good look. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, I can't get off the stuck on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm covering up the knock because everybody moans about it. Yeah. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> and. Andy Clinton, he's only 37 away from 100. Oh, he hasn't got his channel yet, has he? 37 away from 100. Andy Clinton. Oh, yeah. Has he not? All oh, right. Let's oh, you got to get to 100, uh, to get your proper name. So Yeah, to get your... Uh, British link. If anybody's not subscribed to Andy, try, try and get him to 100, please. Hold on. We'll stick his channel in deep. Can you put my channel in, please? Let people sub yeah, to me. Yeah, put mine in here, because, you know... I think you're so, you've got enough subs. You don't need any more. You've got loads. You're fine, Terry. Your channel's are growing exponentially. You're grand. Yeah. You just don't want me to catch up to you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if I was on eight days a week, I probably would, but, you know. Eight days a week. 
<laughs> I'm only on twice a week. Stop it. And every time I go on the blinking thing, it's another video from Brian. Another video. I know, but then, well, that's just how it is. It's just good work, Leonard. Says Steve, Brian won't use water near his lathe. He's terrified of rust. <laughs> You're yeah. quite right. Andy Robert Lerner said he's one away from one. He's <laughs> one away from one. Yeah, again. Hello, Rex B. Oh, Rex, right, right, says, Rex B, where did he come in? Did he sneak in through the back door? Yeah. Hmm. Jennifer's craft and creation says, I can't get past 362. Oh, boo. Oh, well, it's a bitch. And Billy Brown says he's caught up now. Well, Billy, what have you caught up with? Chris Charlton's just joined us as well. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Welcome along, buddy. All right, so when you're polishing, because we've gone over a gilt, uh, uh, an ebon, no, an embellishing wax. Yeah. <laughs> Spit it out, boy. Because we've gone over an ebon, uh, an embellishing wax, if you get too much heat in the resin, the resin, the, start again. If you get too much heat in the lacquer, the lacquer will start to lift off of the embellishing wax. And that's when, obviously, it starts to blister and God knows what else. So what you want to try and do is not cause too much heat. Now, when you're using, obviously, Yorkshire grit, you're causing friction. So you're going to cause a little bit of heat in it. So I'm just going to let that cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to start again because I don't want the, the lacquer lifting. Because obviously, if the wax underneath, which is the embellishing wax, starts to melt, it's going to cause the lacquer to lift. <laughs> Michael right. McEwen's just joined us. Hello, Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Hi, Michael. So, Roy's the boys has just said, Roy's the boy has just said in the chat, I could use a few more. Brian Hartwood turning, lol. Yeah, you could. Yeah, Roy the Boys is sitting at 6,600 subs currently. Paul Kavanagh says he's got 15 subscribers, which is impressive since uh, yeah, no he's only ever posted three videos and none of them are about wood turning. No comment. Yeah, nothing on his channel, basically. All right, so it's buff out. You'd put the, do you put the microphone on next, or do you just carry on with the next goal? No, no, I'm not putting no more lacquer on it. Microphone, yeah, you know, um, what's the name? Yorkshire Grant. Yeah, I'm going to put microphone on it. Yep. <laughs> Dara has just said, I think I have, I have like five subscribers. I've never put a video up. Wasn't even aware I had a channel. <laughs> <laughs> Go Very good, Dara. Do the covers back over and come back in a week. Yeah. All right, so let's just get all that crud out of the middle there. Chris Charlton is one away, is 31 away from 100. Okay, Chris, let's have a look at your channel and see what you've done. Brian doesn't vet it, not good enough. He's not going to put your link up. Well, that's just the way it is, yeah. It doesn't, uh... The Tourette oh. Turner is Oh, it? Yeah, Matt, now what has he got? Sunday, still here, still in the garage, in the garage. Oh, thank you, darling. Are you coming in? Say hello. Oh, okay. Ah, that's she's not a, Nikki, is it? Is that Nikki, Ann? Get she's, Nikki in the house, yeah. Look, look, she just put me a coffee. Oh, oh hold on a minute. What's going on there? I don't know. It's either going to cost me a lot of money. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh, she's yeah, broken she's something. Yeah, <laughs> something's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see much wood turning on uh, Chris Channel on 1033's channel. There we go. If you want to pop over and have a look at Chris's channel, copy that. All right, so can Here's you see that. can you see the shine on that or not? Yeah, there we go. If yeah. the light was to the side of it, we could see it better. But it's only because it's like not straight. Let me uh, just take it out without dropping it. Sing, Brian. Sing. That Joe said, "Sing, Brian." Were you using Yorkshire grit then? I was. Hello to the Yorkshire grit. Oh, that's better. Oh, sorry. So that's that's that's, that's just that's with just the with the original. Good. So, we'll now go to the microphone. Glenn's in. Hi, Glenn, how you doing? He's watching. Is he? He's Because uh, you mentioned grit three times, he appears like magic. Like Beetlejuice, for goodness sake. Looks a bit like Beetlejuice, too. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Who says, looks like Steve will be making flowers, like, soon. No. Flowers. Who's Brian's doing who's... them on his channel on Monday, he said. Making flowers. 
What? What? Sorry? Wait, what was that about flowers? Sorry? You're making, making flowers on Monday, aren't you? Yeah, no. You're live. The answer is no. Yeah, well, we've all agreed. No. Though. No. Well, Lewis said. No. You. No. Yeah. No. You should have what flowers. Lewis said. No. Yeah. I've, already t- I've already had it made a deal with Lewis. If Michelle needs flowers, Lewis has to send them. He's making some lovely flowers. Wait till you see the video. It'll be gorgeous. <laughs> but I am not making flowers. You're a spoiled sport, you are. Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to let that cool down a little bit. I bet Joe's singing in the background. By the way, Brian, you're sacked. Well, uh, what for now? Well, that's the Yorkshire Chris just said, Brian, oh, you're sacked. Again. <laughs> Situation normal, I know, man. I know nothing. So we're just looking good, Steve. We'll just cross sand it while we're here. Cross sanding? Is, no, is, is that the same as grumpy sanding? Yeah, grumpy. <laughs> it's nearly the same as cross dressing, but you know, <gasps> where do you want to go? Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> not there, not there. I'm going to say something then, but I won't. Don't use a can that haven't got a ball in it, that's so. <laughs> all. Hmm. Right, so let's just finally buff this up. Or polish this up. Oh, Chris Charlton has flat work as well as turning on his channel. Yeah. That's right. As and when it's needed. Sorry, guys. No, you're all right. Chris, put whatever you like in your channel. It's not about wood turning it. And I'm going to make say, a most of us have got Yeah, exactly. I'm going to make a Cornish passing and stick it on my channel. There you go. We're, we're going to have cooking and art with Terry on Thursdays. That could be, yeah. Well, it's got tools with Terry on Thursday. Oh, tools with Terry. So, so we'll need to be yeah. cooking with well, Terry on Wednesday. No, that's that series work. nearly finished now. So. Tuesday. Cooking with Terry on Tuesday. Cookie, cooking with Terry on... I don't like cooking. Can't think of, there's no day it runs range with cooking, guys. So, you know. Sh- shopping with Terry on Sunday. Sunday. That's a good one, shopping with Terry on Sunday. Yeah, well, you have to go shopping because yeah, Ruth well, makes you go. She makes me go, I said. I've got no choice. <laughs> He yeah. just comes uh, and he says, Steve's nearly finished. I said, no, you got half hour to go. Yeah, click. Jennifer finished. Craft and Creations has just reminded everyone not to forget the thumbs up, guys. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, well done, Jennifer. And, and as, a, as a reward, Jennifer, you get to come back next week. You can no, come this, back. this is Jennifer's channel. Jennifer's got 366 subs. If you're not really subscribed to Jennifer's channel, why not? Get over there and subscribe to Jennifer. She does some lovely stuff. No, we didn't, Flynn. Come on. Hard. What's Flynn doing now? Cooking with the old fart. Did you say that, Brian? <laughs> no. Terry Saturday Kitchen. I like that, Andrew. I, I would have said, I would have said. Saturday morning. I would have said, said cooking with a large belly. Hey. Oh, sorry. Did I say out loud? Did you look at yourself? That exercise bike behind you is not doing so good, you know? It, it, I, I can't actually. I've actually had, I've damaged my left knee. Oh, yeah, so. an excuse. Oh, better excuse than you've got, anyway. Now, now, girls. Come on. Calm down. Benjamin. <laughs> I've, been too bit, I've been too busy turning. So somebody come up with a name, then. Burning food with Terry. Yes, there you go. Ben's, Ben's uh, addition. You're welcome, Jennifer. Anytime, my friend. You could call it the Sunday cremation. Could do. Right. Cook while you paint. Paint, paint along with Terry. Get your easels paint, out, guys and girls. Paint, painting with Terry on. Paint along with Terry on Tuesday. I don't know. I you don't could, know. you should do a live every day, Terry. I should do. Could get divorced, mine, but I should. I might, I might actually do a few little live horse training things uh, during the summer. Yeah, that's when a good one. When, when Turner's, Turner's, got, Turner's, got, Turner's got the right answer. Right. About <laughs> Brian Burns. Brian buns. Burns buns. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian Burns the buns. Who is right. the Tourette's Turner? Who is the Tourette's Turner? So, no. there you Bob's go. Got it. That's Parts with the microphone. Terry. That's with that the microphone. Brilliant, Steve. Steve, that's looking really nice now. So now you're going to have to spray it again? Is that correct? No, no. no. Scratches, isn't it? Oh, okay. You're not going to put more coke on then. <laughs> Scratches. No, I'm not going to go over... A big tool mark in the middle there. 
there will be when I hit it with the gouge. Yeah, I know. Right. Oh. The Tourette's Tower doesn't have any content in this channel. Okay. So I'm now going to go over that with a bit of burnishing cream. Um, just because disaster, disaster has done this with the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. That's what I just said. Glyn needs a sack. <laughs> oh, Fred Gulliver's chipped in. He says, what about the naked Turner? Right. So. With a picture of a chef. Burnishing cream. Oh, yes. From chestnut? Yes. Okay. <gasps> Very Check nice. I've got the Bob Ross wig. The paint along with Terry. I can do, I can paint Bob Ross style. Easily. Bob Ross. Demonstration paint. Ross Bob. Bob Ross, good painter he was. Died now. Yeah. Died now. If you want to do a painting on your channel, Terry, I've told you before, you should just do it and get on with it. Yeah, because it will it will boost your channel, and no doubt at all. And you and you're nearly good at it. Oh, and yeah. you're almost good at it. Yeah. <laughs> almost good at it. Gabs today says, "Question, question: Are the tool marks in there for texture or a three D effect? Three D effect, mate. Oh. So you got something to grab hold of." <laughs> Excuse me. Door says it's very nice. It is very nice. It is very nice, I have to say. Ben Jamin has chucked down with another traditional hobby recipes with the approved tutor on Tuesdays. <laughs> I added that a little bit on Tuesday. Todd's got another good one. I'm, Todd's getting some good names here. Isn't it? I yeah, have a right. happy hour with the Hobbit. Happy Ooh. hour with the Hobbit. Previous this Bob Ross was a very nice guy. He was no problem, Barry. Was a lovely chap. So Barry's just chipped in and he says, Brian and Steve, thanks for the share of my last video. Definitely helped my sub count. Now at 297. Oh, I'm glad it helped. That's the idea of Good sharing. Good man, anyway. Barry. Good man, Barry. It was a good video. Very good video, I think. It was. I thought it was brilliant. I did make Ru a comment. Yeah. Ruby Claire says, Bob Ross was a very nice guy. If you're not listening, yeah. I've got an echo here. You're absolutely right, Bob. Bob and Ruby. I'm not listening to you, Terry. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously not, because right. Terry just said that. You're I'm absolutely sure. right, Ruby, not Bob. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't talk half the time. He, he only thinks he's talking half the time. Oh dear. Oh, breakfast with the badge. That's another one. Right. Or boozing with Terry. I don't need a badge for cooking. Anybody can cook. This, this is true. Right, so I'm just using a Microsoft. No, I'm not Microsoft. <laughs> Leo, <laughs> Leo has just said, the wood for this project might have been cheap, but I see a fortune in liquids going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm just buffing this off of a microfiber cloth. Just to... Yeah. And Terry Bartlett wants to know how you're going to have time for all this cooking and painting with all the training you have to do. Yeah. Of your new members of your wood turning club, which there's is called. About, there's only about 25 new new turners, new people who want to learn to turn. Look at that. that. That's, oh, that's gorgeous. Be a shame to cut the middle out of that one, really. Yeah, well, not, not be, really. Be, be even worse when the gouge slips and runs across the front of <gasps> it. I can't escape. believe you put that in the and I can't believe you put that in the chat, Pete from Toasted Trees. <laughs> What's he put? He says Lisa can't cook. Oh, a good job, Lisa. Don't watch my channel. Right. I think, I think the an honest answer is Lisa doesn't want to cook. Yeah, that's it. Right. So last stage. Auto oh, glim high high super resin polish. This will just help it to stop any sticky fingers on it. You re-protect the colour. So if it is in the sunlight, the colours won't fade. So uh, Question from Pete Tristed Trees. Is Steve going to drop this one? Is it, oh, never say never, Pete. Never say never. Right, so... This will make it slippery. This will. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. So just buff this in. Your secret says he's going to text Lisa now. Good man. <laughs> Just yeah. screenshot, right. Glenn, and send it to her. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you might not believe you, Alice. I think you're winding her up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you will. Richard Benton's in. Hi, Dad. Hi, right, Dad. How you doing? Right. Even Dad. So, this will buff off. And this is the final one before we uh, finish it. Oh. Oh, the Tourette's Turner has just made a comment. <laughs> not sure if I should read it or not. He said, question, question, question. Steve? Is this going to go flying like Brian's did on the live on Monday? I hope not. <laughs> <sighs> Come fly with me. Come fly. Right. So that's the final polish. Let's get out and have a look how shiny it is before I ruin it. So Heather from Spirit, sorry, uh, Steve. So Heather from Spirit Wind, Wood, Stone and Bone says, if anyone's having trouble with their channels not growing, I suggest you use hashtags at the end of your titles and in the description. Okay. It helps when people are using search terms such as hashtag wood yeah. It does indeed. So there's the final polish. Beautiful. That. Nice sharp yeah. edges on that light yeah. reflecting on it. Mm. Tim it's... from TF Turnings in. Hello, oh, Tim. Hi, Tim. How you doing? So now we're going to... Um... Attempt. We're now going to turn out the middle. I don't want a massive bit in the middle because, like I say, it's all for decorative more than it's not actually going to be used no. for anything. I so, what the who the Tourette's Turner is yet? Does anybody know who the Tourette's Turner is? I'll have a swig of my coffee while I'm waiting. If I let it go cold, that would be very. Uh... Well, see, the Tourette's Turner is asking Brian, have you worked out who it is yet? No, I have no idea. And Todd at Clank, oh, Todd, don't put the scud on it. Don't put the scud on it. Oh, what's his... Right, I'm going to sharpen it's my gun. Final time. It's final time. And the I... is easy. I'm just going to sharpen my gouge because I want a nice sharp gouge to in there. You're not going to... Oh. I put nice. a part in there first so it don't slip. Do you think it's going to slip, Terry? No. I've got every no, I know it's not going to slip. You're not Brian. I've got every confidence. <laughs> you two got it in for each other tonight. I'm shocked. Right, so let's just quickly sharpen this. Katie Shed says, question, question, question. Here, come. Here comes the funnel. <laughs> <laughs> this year's funnel free for me. Oh, that's, a, that's the thing you shouldn't have said at this point of the year. <laughs> Would have been saying at the end of December, but poof. I might have said that on the 31st of December. I got confidence. All right, nice sharp gouge. Um, Gav Sade says, Marky may be Tourette's. Right, so, a little bit high. Let's get a height right. Oh, Tourette's, turn on. look at your messages. Oh, no. No. <laughs> right. I know who it is now. So I'm not coming out very far, only coming out about a quarter of an inch off of that black. Yeah. <laughs> Do I am I allowed to say who it is? Um direct. Oh, he's put that nice camera closer in, it'd be nice to see it. <laughs> fingers crossed, everybody right. fingers crossed. I just start it slowly at work at three. Make sure the bevel's pointing where you want the bevel to go. Not right, Terry? Yep. Steve knows he's done loads of these. Yeah, so have I. Oh, nope. So it's going to be a secret then. It's a bit like the masked wrestler. The Tourette's Turner shall remain nameless. Rise the boy has just reminded us that there are 80 people watching and we need to see how... Oh, I need to close some of them. See how many thumbs up we've got. We've got many channels open. I can't find Steve's. <laughs> 39 thumbs up. Let me refresh that page and see what it comes up to. And if it's less than halfway, I'm coming up for you people. 
Right, so we've got 80 people watching. There are only 38 thumbs up. Come on, boys. We can do better than that. Just means the others are not liking it. Well, that's well, true, too. You know. And Gabs today suggests that I should check bank. Not finished yet. Douglas Mungham reckons here comes a 45 with grooves. Mm. <laughs> risky, Douglas, risky. Yeah. More like a 78, I would think. Steve's that old, yeah. What do you mean, Steve's that old? <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, I'm not giving away the identity to it, so we'll just keep it a secret. It could be a thing. Yeah, it could be a thing between you and, and him or her, Brian. We'll see how it goes. Fred Gulliver has just put his thumbs up. A nice golden hand, thumbs up. He says, I've just done it. That's good. It's up to 48 now. Cool. Paul well, Carson it. says, it's Friday night. We need, we need more skin. I hope he means thumbs up now. <laughs> ben Down says, that looks like a sunburst effect on an electric guitar. Well... Like a decorative fold, isn't it? Glenn reckons this is a very decorative funnel. Who said that? Glenn. <laughs> it's nothing like support, is it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. From your so called friends. But then you can't afford to do that after all the Yorkshire Great is wasted on it. And the lacquer and the colour. And... And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go to work tomorrow now and pay for it all. Right. Drill. <laughs> um, drill, drill. Here it is. Absolutely not, Gav. Don't like groups and groups, as you well know. Founder members. That's what you don't like, isn't it? <gasps> <gasps> like a knife through Founder my heart. Founder members. <laughs> right, so let's sand this back. But we've got to be careful because I want to keep that nice sharp line there. So we're just going to bring it through and just buff the edge of our sanding pad just on that line there. So um, Todd at Glen Grove reckons we should uh, need yeah, it needs a nice regular mirror in the centre. Mm, that's a sure. <laughs> Andrew Vanelli thinks the Tourette's turner is Mike Walt. Huh. Nah, definitely couldn't be Mike. He couldn't hold his tongue that long. Oh, I know where it is. You do? The Tourette's turner says, I'm no fake. I know I it. really do have Tourette's and I do wood turning. It does. It's controlling it, though. It is. Anyway, it's very good. And it's oh, nice to nice. see you in. It is. That nice, uh, that's a nice white effect on that now, Steve. I'm yeah, I'm going to leave there. it like that. Just spray that now to keep the white there. That hides the line that you've just rubbed out. That's perfect. <coughs> Baz, real simple uh, things is in. Hi, oh, Baz. How you doing, mate? Hey, Baz. Fuck my long buddy. That's a bit hot. I I Philip, Clemens said, Philip Clemens just said, Steve, the packet arrived some days ago. I'm very nice, mate. All right, good. Could you send me some pictures when you got them mounted, Phil, please? Because I'm looking for some... Pictures of people mounting them. Oh, I forgot to say that. Um, Steve put a Facebook post out the other day. Anybody who has uh, acquired, purchased, whatever you want to call it, um, a chuck buddy, if you would kindly take a picture of it in situ and send it to Steve. You could have your chuck on it as well. As off. Just to show him, just to show, because uh, so Steve wants to do a little compilation to say, uh, this is how you can mount it. This is different ideas people have had. How to mount it, where to mount it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Wood, wood wizardry by Collins reckons it's Scott, and that is totally wrong. Oh, I know where it is. You have to message me and uh, let me know, Terry. Okay. And I'll tell you whether it is or not. 
doing that now, Brian. It's like a secret squirrel club, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Eh? It's about a fun show. Oh, Baz, what have you been up to this week? Baz, turn the ball. That's your scent. Baz turned a nice ball the other night. We put it on YouTube. Oh, it's not. All right. That's not who it is. Ooh, you can carry it off. Oh, good, good, good. And gentlemen, please take this opportunity to take a photo of your truck buddy in bizarre situations. No, Ben. <laughs> bizarre situations. Chuck buddies will be turning up everywhere now. <laughs> Yeah, my chuck body on holiday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the Great Wall of China. <laughs> chuck, chuck body at Niagara Falls. <laughs> chuck body on the fence post. <laughs> Good words by Colin says he made a dibber. Good man, Colin. He did. Yes, yeah. Posted it with the hashtag dibber. So we can all have a look if we just search hashtag dibber. Right, so let's have a look at that. So that's polished now or sanded up to. So a uh, buzz from real simple thing says he um, blow a pen blank up. So he blew a pen blank up and right? turned, the, and ball. turned the ball. Excellent. Yep. Nice little bowler, wasn't it? Andy, Andy, Andy says he thinks it's Ed Oliver. No, Ed Oliver. it's not Ed. Nah, it's not Ed. Got polish all over the edge, isn't it? And Andy made a double as well. Good man, Andy. Hopefully all the pictures are going to be sent to SK Crafts and yeah, by... within the next two weeks. By if, when? A week Friday, from today. You want them? A, we a week, a week, ne a week tomorrow lunchtime. The Project, project Man has Pollard. appeared. Good evening, the Project Man. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. So, sand and sealer. Really careful because it will, because it's got cellulose um, thinners in it, it will affect your, your lacquer. So, keep it within the lines. How, Ooh. Paul Kavanagh says, how many chucks can a chuck buddy chuck if a chuck buddy could <laughs> chuck chucks? <laughs> if a chuck buddy could chuck chucks. Chuck, chucks. Very good. Brilliant. Very good, How Paul. many chucks could a chuck buddy chuck if a chuck buddy could chuck chucks? That's very good, Paul. Well done, mate. That's the new, that's, is that the new, is that the new <laughs> slang phrase for chuck it, buddies? That's the new one. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I think there needs to be a, there needs to be a song built around that somewhere. How many chuck? Could a chuck buddy chuck if a chuck buddy could chuck chucks? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll know a song that'll get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Do, do chuck while I'm talking. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Hey. <laughs> right. And Toilet Glen Cove says, "Do chuck Wallace have chuck buddies?" I think you're thinking of Punker Wallace, Todd. I think it's a bit of ash, isn't it, Steve? The, what, the, the, the yes. Leo wants to know. Is it yeah, really yeah, it's, yeah, it's a piece of ash. Yeah. Sorry, it's a very straight coffee. grain piece of ash. It is. We worked, we, out, said... we worked out that it has to be quarter sawn. It's a lovely piece of wood. I've got another piece the same as that. So. It's not, not right, Terry. It's true. So I'm going to be finishing this, the centre of this off with some... Uh, what camera are we on? This one. So oh, Gardner said he's... <laughs> Paul Gardner says, oh God, I've created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to be using high gloss, Hampshire Sheen high gloss wax to finish this off, just to give it a bit of a shine in the middle. Don't want too much of a shine because obviously we don't want to take it away from the outer edge because right. that is the focal of the piece. So always asking me. the question, what's pop poplar like to turn? Poplar is no uh, very nice to turn. Turns well. It's a bit bland. It's like tulip, which <gasps> same come same um, same uh, family. It's it uh, you get a good finish on it. Though. Does it colour well? 
So Brian Watkins has said he made a dibber today using nothing other than a half inch skew and a guitar G string. G string. Uh, yeah, a guitar G string. We won't yeah, ask you which one you were wearing, but. And uh, Andy has said, question, question, does Steve want pictures of the Dibbles? Yes, he does. Indeed. Preferably before next Saturday lunchtime. If you get them to him by Friday, that'll be even better. SK Crafts at btinternet.com. That's correct. Does someone want to put me email in the in the chat, please? Right. SK K R A F T S. Yeah, so if you can get him to me by uh, dinner time, not this Saturday, next Saturday, which will be, what's that, the 11th? Uh, yeah, but no, 12th, won't it be? Next Saturday? Yeah. You put, you put yourself under time. too much pressure saying Saturday. Friday, you want them by. No, no, no he's all right, Saturday. Ask you crafts at btinternet.com. I, I would prefer him by Friday because that gives me a chance yeah. to do them. But... Friday, guys. Get them, in, get them in by Friday, guys. Don't wait till Saturday. Get them in by Friday. Yeah, cause because some people... it takes Steve a bit of time to, to analyze, not analyze, but to and resize the... them and stick them on his thing. And the trouble is, some people then send send me some on Sunday as well. So you know, if they get them to me, if on they get the... there too late on Sunday, you don't get them in. The, they won't go in the exactly in the uh, video. Symbol. So Roy, Roy the boy has just said that some of his subscribers are here now, Steve. Oh, good. good. Thank you, Roy. Good man, Roy. Thank you for uh, publishing that, publish, uh, publicizing that. That's great. Let's put more link in then, Roy. Oh, you want your link in as well, Terry? Well, if I get extra subscribers here now, they just, well, then they can oh, see more next live on Monday. Um, so I'm going to get a couple of coats of uh, Hampshire Sheen just to get the Terry. Say something, Terry, say something in the chat quickly. Oh, sorry. Hello. <laughs> that colour scheme is called Tobacco Burst. How many chucks with a chuck, chuck, a chuck? Exactly. <laughs> 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 Yatsudi says, I've got loads of kind of popular. Aspen turns great and reminds me of Sycamore. So, did they say this colour scheme to called what? He said it was called Tobacco Burst. Tobacco Burst. Who said that? It's a good colour scheme, right? Glenn. The Yorkshire get himself. The Yorkshire get. We know right he's going to be, don't we? So, uh, Hello, Joe. So, hi, Joe. This is Terry's um, channel link. Terry has got 525 subscribers currently. So if you've not subscribed to Terry, pop over and subscribe. Thank you very much. It would be much appreciated. We'd appreciate it. There you go. Look at that bad boy. <coughs> and, uh, Doug brilliant. Miller says, Doug Miller says, Steve. Yes, Doug. Did you get my dibber pick? Yes, I did. Yes, yes. I've had Good. quite a few for actually. Even Jennifer. <laughs> All right. So I think that Brian's discussed. What are you going to do now? <laughs> no, I'm just going to say I think we're there. I think we're done. Yeah. Oh, um, we Steve, we've we got be. a question from Colin. Colin. He's saying, um, has anyone used the chestnut rainbows wax? He's just got the lilac one. I wonder what it's like. Are they similar to the uh, embellishment waxes, aren't they, Colin? Ah, there you go. They, I oh. think they are, eh? Are they similar? To, yeah, I think they are. I think they similar are. Thing. Um, no, I haven't. I haven't actually used them, Colin. Um, uh, what camera am I looking for? <laughs> the Yorkshire Git says that uh, they use it on Gibson's guitars, that, that colour scheme. So. Oh, OK, OK. A tobacco. <sighs> what did you say? It was tobacco burst or something. Yeah, tobacco burst. It's good. So there we go. Let's get it out. It's quite nice. Oh, it's lovely to feel. Oh, it's like rubbing my hand over my bottom, mate. Right? Mm. Feeling wood on Fridays. Well, Doug, Doug Muller's been a bit Steve. poorly this week. He says he can't remember whether he'd done it or not. Yeah, I, you, you did. To, you have done. I think you sent him to me on Sunday. Uh, was it Monday or Tuesday, Doug? Or was it Sunday? I can't remember. You messaged me when um, we was on the live and said you was going to send them over, and you sent them over that evening. So, yes, I have got them, mate. I'm sure I have. I will Fair. double check if I haven't, and I will let you know. But I'm sure I have. And you Andy would? Woodwork Learner said, uh, "As Ben sent a Dibber picture, uh, and can it be shown in public?" <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. So. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Nice finish on it. 
course, glistening. Look at that, eh? See my strip light in it. Look. You see the amount yeah. of the, the amount and of and the ring light. The, the amount of coats you've got on there, you see, it gives it a depth of shine as well. You see. Yeah, it's not just that's... a shine, shine. It's like a deep shine. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. So that's the idea of building up the lacquer because obviously with the first three coats we had a shine. Um, Keith, Keith Jarvis says sorry he's late, but he's uh, just made the end of it. And good evening to everybody. Oh, evening, Keith. Welcome. Evening, Keith. Welcome along, even to you are late. No, we're fine. Never we're, late, Keith. We're having a bit of fun. It's Friday night. We're having a bit of fun. TFT, random fact. Gibson used nitro cellulose finish with with crack, which, which you meant to say, cracks nicely over time. Most other, other manufacturers use polyurethane, which tends to chip. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. There you go. Cellulose finish, there you go. Tim for telling us that. It's Tim. There are some new colours I want to try. Um, uh, Tourette's Turner has just asked me if I'm doing a live on Monday, and the answer is yes. Every Monday? No. And every Thursday? No. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, Muller he's, says yes. Tourette's he's actually turning um, flowers on Monday. No, he's not. <laughs> he went bloody flowers. Doug Muller suggests that uh, you've learned your lessons from Martin Well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I will be honest. Mm. I have learned a lot from Martin. Um, yep, but I'm well. <laughs> it's all it's all down to time. Yep. And and the more time you put, the more yeah, exactly the more time you put into a piece, the better the piece will become. And you mean this is what I'm trying to do lives over two rather than one live. There's no way you're gonna get a piece looking like that in an hour and fifty hour and thirty minutes. Uh, Never I, in I a month. A dist- or so. I have a disturbing uh, thought for these guys. I can see Terry and Terry is fondling his dubber. <laughs> now, if, if Steve would put him on screen, we'll be able to clarify that for you. Can you hear me? Right, hang on a second. Can you hear me? Headset's just decided to turn itself off. Let me just uh, change headset. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, right. you can't. It's whether they can hear us. Can you, can you hear us again? Oh, there's, 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 there's Steve, a, a yes from can there. Yeah. Todd. Yes, yeah, Steve. Who stole the sound? Fred Gulliver says. I don't know what my headset just decided. But you can hear you, Steve. Only. Only Steve. Only Steve. Who stole the sound? Can hear you, Steve. Yes, but not the worms. Can't hear me. Oh, oh no. You. <laughs> Woodward Lara says you muted Brian. Hang on, hang on. No, we're not muted. We're talking what's to What's going other. on? I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Our sound keeps dropping out and going to mute. Steve, you, you... Steve's broken. Sorry, right. can they hear? Oh, they can hear us all now. What happened there then? That just dropped out. I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah. That's, it's uh, a technology problem. Steve's not that good with technology. No. No, Technically, when Terry's here. Yeah. Uh, right. My headphones just died out. I don't know why. They won't come back on. It's a chin rest. My headphones went just well, not the headphones went. The sound went from you, you two just now. That's good. Everybody's back. We can hear now. Right. I was worried for a second. I put that on charge. I might. Have, I don't think I ran out. It just went. Just, I just said PC yeah. can disconnect. That's all it said, and then just died. It, it actually felt like being at home. You know, nobody listens to me. 
when you are too lonely. You know that. You know that, Gilda Steve, don't you? Brian, 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 Brian. You Brian, Brian, you haven't taken the hint. Nobody listened to you either. What do you think I come? What do I think I come in the workshop and talk to you in the evenings, Brian? <laughs> yeah, because nobody, nobody talks yeah. to me in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like Nicky brought him a cup, a cup of tea just yeah. so that you stay. I normally longer. get a text going. It's I normally Gilliver. get a text oh, going. Sorry, Fred. Coffee on the boiler. It's Fred yeah. Gulliver and not Fred Gulliver. I've just been told I off. I didn't. I did announce that, but you just won't do any wow. news. I'm considering myself told off, Fred. Sorry, man. Matt. Right, where was we? What was we talking about? I can't remember now. I have no idea, no, Steve. It's gone. In this thing. We're talking about two lives. Over two oh, lives. It. You can bet a Yeah, so what I was the... saying was, you're never going to get a finish like this on a single live. Put you guys in the background for a minute. Um, because it's physically impossible to get that finish because obviously the preparation to it. So over the next month or the next, over this year, let's put it this way, I'm going to be doing more lives where I'm over two lives so we can get a better product because if not i end up with a stack of bowls in the corner that are no good to man or beast because not because you've rushed them but because you, you haven't done them to your full potential no you haven't you haven't done them right not you've done them right but they're not as good as you could do so um anybody can achieve this don't think this is special anybody can achieve this it's just a little bit of time a little bit of preparation and just a bit of patience really um, I was doing this in, in the week, three coats at a time, just leaving it over 24 hours. And uh, then you can end up with that. So, yeah. Have a go. Stick them on Facebook. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. You just... Well, we'll see. We will see. Time will tell. We'll stick it on Facebook and see what happens. But. No worms again. They're saying no worms again. I'm saying the worms are gone. What's going on with this tonight? But I've got nothing. I've got nothing bouncing on, on OBS. No. Only just me. What on earth is going on? Don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Um, now I can. I couldn't hear you then, Brian. You were muted. I asked because I, I clicked it to see was it. I clicked the mute button and unmuted it again no. just to see was it stuck. Right, see if you're back now. What worms have got in your system? <laughs> <laughs> see if you're back now. Maybe the early bird. If you're back worms, now, then there's an issue with OBS. I've got a problem with OBS, so. All right, I'll be back. Can uh, anybody tell us if we're back or not? Gav's off. See you later, Gav. Thanks for coming over, mate. Have a good weekend. Boy, ranks. We need new new need worms. worms. Need new <laughs> worms. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> can only hear Steve. Oh, they're back. Yeah. It's obviously a oh, problem with my back. OBS because uh, every time I go onto oh, a screen, back. you're losing you guys. So there's a problem with my OBS. Ah. So I'll look into that. Right, we're finished anyway. So. Um, Short live tonight, guys. Uh, just one, one last, one last reminder. How many chuck could a chuck, 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 give a chuck, 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 chuck. How many chuck buddies could a chuck buddy chuck give a chuck buddy could chuck chucks? Lovely, isn't it? That's the new one. <laughs> That's the new one. Very good, very good. All right, let's quickly. Hey, thank you everybody for coming in and joining Steve. So there we go. Today. Beautiful piece, Finish Stephen. Piece. Thank you all, guys. So Beautiful all done. Piece, Steve. Well done. So um. Obviously, dibbers, if you get your dibbers over to me, um, like Brian said, a week tonight, 
or next Friday lunchtime. If you can get them over to me, then we'll get them all in a comp a montage. Not quite because he moans at me if I say compilation, but a montage. It's a montage. montage. So get them over to me. We'll get all the dibs. Actually, I've had quite a few at the moment, so I'm I'm really pleased that everybody's having a go at it, and it's nice to see. And like we always said, it's with a skew. But if you ain't got a skew, then you know it's taking part that counts. It doesn't. It does matter if exactly. you know what I mean. It's about getting you in your workshop, having a go, giving you something to try. So with that. Thanks to everybody who come over. I uh, really do appreciate it. Thanks to all the new people, some new people in the chat tonight. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much for you guys uh, coming over and seeing us. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please consider subscribing. I need the count. I want to get to 3,000. I'm getting so close. <laughs> yeah. getting, close. getting close. Oh. So anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Oh. Thanks to the worms, as always. Thank you guys for coming in and joining me. Um, Brian, Steve. Terry's on at lunchtime. Monday. Monday, Brian's Monday. on Monday night. Make sure you check those guys out. And if okay. you're not subscribed to their channels, make sure you do because they're all right. A bit senile, but they're all right. So anyway, guys, right. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 26. He's the old one. Steve's the, the old one. one. He's 50, 50 this year. Something 50 this year. So anyway, have Ooh. a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you Sunday. So take care. Speak to you soon, and bye for now. Good night. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Cheers, my dears. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Why is that sound key dropping?